Hi, Thomas Campbell here from Second Swing down here in uh, Phoenix at Ping here today. Got the chance to uh, work with Marty Jerson. Check out the new Ping G410 Plus driver. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. What we got a chance to do, and it was, it was uh, uh, really valuable to, to uh, experiment with some of the new custom positions. So for you, Thomas, we saw uh, find a little bit of a draw. Yep. So we have some levers here, and with the G410, we're unlocking three-dimensional fitting. It's really the key, and to try to minimize curve or eliminate a miss or one side of the golf course. So what we're able to do is uh, put the weight from the neutral position, customize it in the fade. We saw that for you. It looked like it was close for you, but it was maybe too much of a, of a uh, kind of anti-left. You were fighting it a little too much. Yep. So then we played around with the hosel positions and the shaft a little bit. And where we ended up was going to the Tensei orange shaft, which gave a little more kick, had a little more loading feel to it to get your launch up and your spin up a little bit. And then put the hosel, we utilized one of the more nuanced fitting conditions that we have. We took the hosel from the standard dot position all the way three degrees flat. So we put it in the flat dot position and that took the left side of the course out of play for you. Uh, the shaft helped match your loading profile and hand, how you work the handle in transition. Uh, so you, you got along better with the shaft from that standpoint. Kicked the launch angle up, got you above 10 consistently. Yep. The spin ratio on this driver, you have pretty fast ball speed, was awesome. I think that was the funnest part is we got you, you know, at the lowest from 1900, but somewhere in the 2200, 2300, would you like to see that flat trajectory? The MOI of the driver gave you the insurance policy, policy so you never got that spin that was too low, but yep. allowed us to live on that real optimal threshold. So it was fun to play around with that. And where we ended up for you was awesome. Your last, your last five or six drives were perfect. Launching above 10, very flat trajectory. Get, really getting along with the field, the shaft. Yeah, we really got to a point where I feel like I could go after it hard and not worry about it going left. Yeah. <laughs> that is very important to me. Yeah. That was, that was awesome. It was definitely a combination to this shaft feeling really good. Yeah. But then I could definitely notice it sitting a little bit flatter. Yep. It just gave me that confidence to know, hey, I could aim a little bit further right, go after it. It wasn't going left. So yep. that was, it was fine dead straight. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it, was, it was excellent. Yeah. So. It was good to see that, you know, the, you were kind of between the neutral and the fade position, but maybe the fade was a little too much. So then we could go to the lie angle and get you tuned in. Yep. Yep. So. I think that lie angle piece is going to be a great piece for us going forward, having that option to adjust that lie angle even as far as three degree flat. So that's going to be really intriguing going forward for the 410 line. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I think players are going to be, and you experience it today, uh, very excited about the plus model being pretty low spin. So it's going to yep. be a really good, really good spin ratios for a good player such as yourself, as well as a lot of the, the rest of the golf community out there. Uh, high launch, low spin combination with high inertia, and now bringing in more customization to reduce curve, eliminate one side of the course. Yep, that was excellent. So I'm really excited about it. All right, Thomas. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks.